Guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to use custom buttons in Swift. And custom buttons are basically just buttons which uh, don't use like um, any of the default iOS stuff, and they look quite different. So, basically, uh, for my example, I actually have. Uh, if I just drag Xcode to the side over here, um, I actually have two images. So we have a red apple and we have a green apple. And um, I'm just going to be using these two as my uh, custom button. So it's going to be red, and then when I click it, it's going to be green. And yeah, so to first, what I need to do is I need to add this into the assets folder. So I'll add a new set and I'll just call this red apple and I'll just add them on all three of those and then we'll just add a new image set and I'll call it green apple and I'll add this one in for all three of those and now what I can do is I can add my button in the main dot storyboard. So I have these and I can close this now. Now to add a custom button it's actually quite simple and it's basically just using an image instead of the actual button text so um, if we just center this button the only problem is it doesn't actually get like change color when it's highlighted but we can solve that by using a different image for when it's highlighted so when it's when it's just there it's going to be red and then when I click on it it will be green and then when I let go it will just be red again so to do this, what I need to do is go to the button and set the default image to, um, so you can see, when you click on state, it's default, so if I do the default image, and I'll just select red apple, oh, that's quite large, uh, what I can do, actually, is if I open this up, and if I just uh, click on edit, go over here, and if I just make this smaller, so let's say like a hundred by a hundred and I can add that, I'll save that and close that and do the same for the green apples so uh, go to edit and change that, change to a hundred like that, save that now these are much smaller and now I'll just replace these with the smaller versions there we go And now, uh, why is it not changing? Okay, let's see if it's a bit smaller. Yep, there we go. And now, if I just remove this button text, it should be centered. Okay, so now this is the default state, and if I change it to highlighted, then I change the image to the green apple. And you can see it won't actually change that, but if I run this now, you should see that our apple is red first and then I'm going to click it and it'll turn green and it'll turn red again when I let go uh, okay I'm going to click this and it turns a different thing so it doesn't work as well in this um, I just realized that this apple's a bit smooth and you do have to have the images already made so uh, how did I do this let me just go here mark up and I'll change this around and I'll just make it like 250 save that oh oops save that and close that and we'll just change this to 250 as well so you do have to make sure the size is correct but otherwise it's just works pretty well and you also should make sure that the selected version is just the same thing but um, just like darker or just a different shade because I just used uh, different colored apples because I didn't have time to uh, um, get like create two images but you should do that if that's what you're doing so yeah, this is how you create a custom image, a custom button, and you can see that now it's good sized. I click on this and it just changes. So if this was a normal button and it said something and then I clicked it, it will be the same thing but a bit darker. And yeah, it'll just act like a completely normal button. 
so yeah now this is just an ex the normal button uh, I can use it just like any other button so if I drag this and I call it an action I say print hello and then inside of this I can just print uh, hello world and it just acts like a completely normal button the only thing you might lose is a bit of customizability but apart from that it's just a regular button so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye